Creating an effective PowerPoint or deck or whatever you want to call it with a powerful presentation, like the verbal part, is not easy. If it was easy, most meetings would be a lot more fun and a lot more productive. So something you want to do is the visual is the what. So that's where you have the important details. Your presentation is the why. You are there to add value. If all they needed was the what, let's be honest, the presentation could have just been an email. So you are there to add your expertise or to use your expertise to interpret why that information is valuable to the audience. Meaning you have to know who you're presenting to in order to frame or package your message in the most effective way. Your presentation shouldn't be the same if it's to the team members as if you were presenting to the executives. Their different audiences are going to need different value points from you. So I want you to, next time you do a presentation and you're reviewing it, one of the telltale signs that you're only focusing on the what is if you're reading off the slides. If you're just reading the information on the PowerPoint, again, you could have just recorded yourself and emailed it to them. I mean, it's the truth. A lot of us do it because it's easy. We think it's simple, but think about what it feels like when you're in a presentation for work. The second you notice that the presenter is reading off the slides, I just stop listening because you don't have to listen. You know that you can read the slides and get the same information. So if you start even with your title page, You don't read the title. You reframe the value of the title. You immediately gain the respect and engagement of the audience because they know they have to pay attention to what you're saying because it's not all going to be on the actual side. It takes practice, but I promise you it's worth it.